Hello and Prusatsul Dovakin. Welcome back to the adventures of Catspur, the friend of ghost. Well, she's managed to do finally done a little bit of leveling up. Got to level 12, trained up a bit with Thalion and got conjuration to 52. I realized um, I kind of went really fast and didn't realize I actually I was really only planning on getting magic up to 300 uh, because at uh, 300 is the max magicka that uh, Spooky will eat up to power himself when you conjure him. But you can never have too much magicka because um, that just means more magicka for the next uh, time we resummon him. So that's fine. But from here on, we're probably going to be dumping uh, some points into uh, health and maybe some stamina. But now that we did a little bit of training, it's time to go explore around Morthal and see what's happening because uh, Felling kind of implied that there might be something nefarious going on. So we're going to look around and see what we can find. Heard they're reforming a Dawn Guard. Hmm. Old... Yeah, I know all about the vampire hunters. Hey, look at that. This is, uh, looks like a. Ooh. The site is something unfortunate. It looks like a house burned down. We're not going to go deal with the. A quiet place. We're not going to be dealing with the uh, Dawn Guard just yeah, yet, <laughs> if at all. Sense. Let's go talk to the uh, head honcho here. Oh, you got to be kidding me! The gods will be the judge of that. Oh shoot! I had I had on the only thing force hotkey, not my. Uh... Hey, spooky! Take him out, will ya? Uh, better yet. Better yet. Sundarni after him. Oh, this is one of those situations where I have to actually kill him. Oh, maybe not. Okay, here he goes. <laughs> now, again, you know, Major Slack is right. You know, once you hit that record button, everything's going to be different. Because uh, I did this uh, bit that I'm about to record. Um, did a partial test run where I kind of messed up, so I decided to go back and start over again. And then I did another test run. He doesn't have anything interesting on him. Did another test run and got it running <coughs> did everything fairly smoothly and now this time of course right in the middle of everything going fine that just happened ah what skyrim being skyrim gotta keep my eyes open damn dragons could swoop down at any time yeah okay don't worry about dragons i've got uh i've got arnie he'll take care of them What? <laughs> Leave now or suffer dire consequences. Wait a minute. What the heck? Why is he saying I have to leave? What? This is... Okay, now, now the game is really going glitchy on me. It's normal business hours, and you're never trespassing in a... Not supposed to be trespassing. Okay, everything... I don't know why he was suddenly going all weird on me. Hey, hi there. Life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. No, oh, thank you. Hey, uh, what's up with that burned out house over there? Rogar's house? He lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. Ooh. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? And uh, what does he say happened? Rogar blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Oh, cooking accidents. Many folk think he set the fire himself. What? What, you mean they think he, you know, burned down his own wife and kid? 
Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alva. So, uh, what are you doing about it? On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Wow, you mean a Jarl that's actually concerned about... In your hands. You mean you're actually concerned about actual justice and, you know, proof and stuff? Not just you're not just gonna chop his head off just for you know just because. I like you. I really like you. Somebody, somebody in Skyrim that actually cares about things like you know rule of law and um, you know justice and stuff. What is it, Kajit? Okay, so let's go see what's happening. Let's go take another look around the house and see if we can find out anything. Aha! Uh -huh. What do we have here? It's a ghost of a little girl. Aww. Hi there. Who's there? Is that your father? Uh, who are you? Help me. The father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? Well, no, no. You see, I'm Catsbur, the friend of ghost. I, I, uh, what happened here? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared, so I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. But I'm lonely. Will you play with me? Um, yeah. If I do, will you tell me what uh, happened? Okay. Let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime, though. The other one is playing, too. And she can't come out until then. Uh, okay. The other one? I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. <clears throat> All right. Well then, I guess we need to wait till night time. Uh, let's see, it's three. Let's wait till about ten. Okay, so now we got to go find the little girl. Let me do a save here just in case things mess up or something. Now, where would I? Where should we go? Hmm. Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm going the wrong way. Nope. You know, I've done this like three times and I still mess up here. Okay, yeah, this way. Okay, now this is happening the way I expected it to. All right, first of all, I don't like the looks of that person up ahead there. And I turned off my um, crosshairs earlier just to make a certain recording go a little bit e easier on my eyes. Okay, I got the shadow stone up and ready if I need it. Bye bye, vampire. I don't suppose you have any clues on you, huh? Nope. Oh, but look at that. There's a grave. A very small one, too. A very small coffin. How sad. You found me. Layla was trying to find me, too. But I'm glad you found me first. Layla was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. She wanted to play with me forever and ever. She kissed me on the neck, and I got so cold that the fire didn't even hurt. Layla thought she could take me and keep me, but she can't. I'm all burned up. I'm tired. Ooh. I'm going to sleep for a while now. Oh, I hate vampires. I really hate vampires. Anyone who do such a thing to a little kid. 
Hey, yeah, hold on, Thunder. Lay left. Yes, uh, she's gone now. Lay left. I thought she left to join the storm clocks. Oh, my poor Lay left. You want to say anything odd before uh, she um, left? She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Alva told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. Yeah, well, you know, um... You think Alva? But that means... Ye gods! You think Alva is a vampire? Uh, yeah, well, it's kind of looking that way. No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leilet may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. I hope Alva is not what you think. Alright, so now, uh, investigate Alva's house. And I just realized we might have to make a little bit of a side nope. trip here because um, I have a feeling the house is going to be locked. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet boy. Yeah. Well, we can wait till daytime. And see what happens. Maybe it'll uh, open up. See if she's home during the day. Yeah, my uh, quote test runs. I basically only got up to where the uh, vampire showed up. I didn't go this far. Uh, what time is it? Wait an hour. Sometimes the doors don't open until you. Whoops! No, I don't. I'm not doing lock picking. Well, we know how to open locks. We know what to do there. Okay, now one very important thing is we want to make sure, as first of all, what, how, what stones do we actually have uh, powered up at the moment? Now, of course, the shadow stone, is, okay, the thief stone. So what we're going to do is we want to make sure that we take the crown off, because if we don't, then when we activate the uh, tower stone here, it's going to put the thief stone in the crown, and we don't want that to happen. We want to keep the... We want to keep the uh, shadow stone in the crown. So now we can put the crown back on. All right, now back to Morthal. They're reforming the dawn god. Hey, whoops, I went the wrong way. In the old fort, the One house. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to stop here, and we'll catch up on the next episode where we further investigate the mysteries of Morthal. Thank you for watching, folks. Please hit that like, sub button, leave some comments if you have anything to say, even just say hi, and uh, hit that subscribe button so you know when more videos are coming out. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day.